I've, I've grown up in a Puerto Rican household, but I've never, I have never was taught the language. So that, that's why I'm lacking right now in, in my Puerto Rican culture. If I go over to my grandmother's house, or if I go over my, my one of my aunt's house, mi tia, you know, she, she's playing some stuff, you know, and uh, I might not know any of the words, but you know, that dun, 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 I can hear that, you know? My, my grandmother, you know, she's, uh, you know, she's probably the most person that I stay in contact with that's really deeply rooted, um, you know, culturally wise, you know, she speaks it as her first language, of course, you know, Spanish is her first language and, you know, she speaks English as well. Um, but, you know, when I go home, when I go over her house or when she's around, I get that Puerto Rican feel, you know, but, you know, she cooks Spanish food, of course, you know, and I, I love eating, you know, Spanish food, rice and beans, arroz con pollo, you know, platanos and pasteles, you know, all that stuff like that. So, you know, it's, it's in my blood. I just don't speak the language. So, you know, when, when you come to me and I feel like, please don't talk to me in Spanish, please don't. <laughs> Alex Rodriguez, um, you know, definitely got to look up to him. If he's Puerto Rican or Dominican, he's Hispanic, you know, neither less. So uh, I definitely look up to him, you know, tough. He has, you know, some stuff. He had a scandal or whatever, but, you know, his body of work, you know, is, uh, is incredible. And, uh, and I feel like, uh, you know, he did things uh, that a lot of people couldn't do, you know.